हेलो हमजा आर यू देयर हमजा यस सर सर व्हाई आर यू नॉट स्पीकिंग सर अंदर व्हाट सर अंदर ओके हमजा सो आर यू गेटिंग माय वॉइस क्लियरली यस सो दिस वाज द असाइनमेंट आई हैव गिवन एंड आई एम सॉल्विंग इट ओके so let's focus and uh, you have uh, told me in the last class i think last to last class that you are getting problem in uh, solving the numericals and uh, questions yes uh, so uh, what i am doing uh, from now uh, for, for the starting of the class means 15 minutes of the class we will discuss the numericals and the questions uh, that has already appeared in your examination and that will help you a lot that will help you a lot you will get the idea uh, <clears throat> how, how means <clears throat> the types of question that are appearing in your examination you will get so this is the this is my plan now from now and you will get also when i will solve i will tell you how to approach a problem how to solve a problem how to apply the formula and for that uh, the assignment that i am giving you should also try at your home if you are not able to solve that then we will if you are able to solve then also i will discuss the assignment in the class if you are not able to solve the assignment then i then on the the assignment in the class so let's focus we are starting with 100% focus i want your 100% focus on your screen and on my voice so this question you can solve wheatstone bridge we have already discussed what is wheatstone bridge this question na so wheatstone bridge if someone is asking what is wheatstone bridge wheatstone bridge is a combination of five resistances like this so this is the wheatstone bridge so this question we can solve we have to solve this question and this question appeared in cbsc 2010 and see how we will solve this first and the foremost foremost thing for solving any question read the question properly okay so in this question it is given that in this question it is given that we have two conducting wires x and y of same diameter but different material are joined in series across a battery first thing is this they are saying we have two wires suppose one wire is this and another wire is this and they are connected in series like this and diameter of both the wire are same diameter of both the wire are same and they are connected in series combination the series combination of wire means if i current is flowing through this wire means 
the current i is here and the current i is here this is a series combination of wire so current will remain same in both the wire and this wire is x and this wire is y and if the diameter of the wire is same we know that area is equal to 5 by 4 into d square area of this area of cross section 5 by 4 d square so means if diameter is same then area will also same so this wire have the area a this wire have the area i am talking about the cross section area and they are saying uh, from here means from here read the question from here now if the number density of electrons if the number density of electrons in x is twice that in y find the ratio of drift velocity of electron in the two wires so they are saying number density of electron in x here is the number density of electron in y so number density of electrons means number of electrons per unit volume and we have denoted this with a small n number of electrons per unit volume and they are saying nx number of electron per unit volume or number density of electron in x is two times of number density of electron in y this is the equation one we have and they are asking the drift velocity they are asking the drift velocity suppose here the drift velocity of electron is v dx here the drift velocity in this wire is v d y so we know that the relation between the current and the drift velocity is area number density of electron n charge on electron a n e and the drift velocity and the drift velocity and see here the current in wire x and wire y is same current is same so we will write this the expression of i for wire x for wire x you will write current in the wire x is i area of cross section is a number density in x charge on electron will remain same and drift velocity in x so this is equation 2 four wire y current is this area is same and y charge on electron drift velocity in y this is equation 2 so this is i and this is i equate equation 2 and 3 from equation 2 and 3 you can equate this a n suffix x e v suffix d x a n suffix y e v suffix g into y this is y so from here from here this area is cancelled out this charge on electron is cancelled out and we have to find the ratio of drift velocity we have to find the ratio of drift velocity in wire x ratio of drift velocity in wire x drift velocity in wire y you will get 
number density of electron in wire y number density of electron in wire x number density of electron in wire y is n by and number density of electron in wire x is two times you can use this equation you can use this equation nx instead of nx you can put two times of n by two times of n by this n by and n by cancel out you will get the ratio of drift velocity as 1 ratio 2 so ratio of drift velocity in wire x ratio of drift velocity in wire y you will get 1 divided by 2 so this is your final answer this is your final answer So in this way, you will solve the question. So, now we will solve this question. This is very good question. Hamza, have you completed the magnetic field in your school? No sir, uh, we just started. Not completed. Okay, just I will use some <coughs> concept of magnetic field here, and I will discuss this question one more time when we will discuss uh, the magnetic effect of current chapter. After after this, there will be a chapter magnetic effect of current. Then again, I will discuss this question. so i have taken this question so as to get you uh, familiar with the questions uh, <clears throat> so they are saying two spherical bobs bobs means you can say two spherical two spherical balls one metallic and other of glass and other of glass of same size are allowed to fall freely from the same height above the ground which of the two would reach earlier and why suppose this is the ground and we have one ball at a height h another bob or ball at the same height h and from here we are dropping these two balls and this ball is metallic and this ball is made up of glass and glass is insulator we know that means the glass will not allow current to flow through it and this is metallic this is conductor and in conductors the current can flow in conductor so what will what will happen uh, <clears throat> and from here this ball is falling like this and this ball is also falling like this so we have just dropped two ball like this from a certain height from the equal height so when we drop something from a height initial velocity at that time 
is zero. Initial velocity at that time is zero. And <clears throat> oh, what will happen here? As this ball is falling like this, this ball is also falling like this, and they are asking that which of the two ball will reach earlier on the ground and why? They are asking. So suppose you can take some intermediate position of the ball, means when they are falling. So you can take some intermediate position. So the metallic ball, why the body falls like this? Due to his weights, due to the gravity, due to the gravity, the body falls on the ground. So due to the gravity, weight of this ball, this is weight. Weight of this ball is acting downward and this ball is just falling. And weight of this ball is also acting in downward direction. So this ball is also falling. But in case of metallic ball, there is a force opposite to that of weight will generate it. Will generate it because this is a metallic ball and due to the earth magnetism means earth also produces the magnetic field when this metallic ball is falling the due to the magnetic field of earth a current is induced in this metallic ball but this is the insulating ball in this the current will not in induced here the current is induced and this induced current according to the to the lens law that we will discuss in the chapter in the next chapter according to the lens law will oppose the downward motion of metallic ball means free fall of the metallic ball so due to this opposing force this ball will take larger time to reach the ground. So what will happen? In metallic ball. Due to. Sir, the time difference uh, of the ball reaching the ground cannot be visually seen. Can it be? Mm, visually means? Means ca can you see the metallic ball reaching faster to the earth than the glass ball like yeah not possible right because uh, the magnetism of the earth is not so big that uh, you can uh, doesn't make that much that much big of a difference no you are right you are right but uh, you are saying that the magnetic field of the earth is not that much bigger that it will it will affect the time practically you are saying that no no like it will affect but it will not affect uh, so much that we can see it visually reaching it fast uh, uh, like visually uh, yeah yeah faster. you you are you are right you are right if we if we go very precisely just uh, this ball suppose reaching reaching here means this ball of glass reaching here uh, in 2 seconds so this ball of uh, metal will reach at a time of 0 0.01 second so in yeah. this way we can see, means this, you are, uh, you are very right. Very small amount uh, yeah. difference. Yeah. Yeah. Very small difference. Sanja, you are a good student. I know that. In a metallic ball, due to the, but they are asking the question, which of the two will reach earlier? So we have to tell accordingly. So in metallic ball, due to the magnetic field, of earth and all we know that and why the Hamza, why the due to the magnetic field of the earth the current is inducing in, in this that we will discuss because when this suppose this is a ball and this ball is falling 
so with respect to this ball the there is a magnetic field of the earth and due to that magnetic field there is a magnetic flux and there is a change in the magnetic flux with respect to time and that change in the magnetic flux with respect to time produces the emf or uh, induced current in this field. yeah this is the whole uh, this is the to, uh, overall explanation of this okay but just i am writing in short so the magnet due to the magnetic field of earth a current will induced in metallic ball and according to lenz law this induced current this induced current produces the you can say produces a magnetic field or simply you can write according to lenz law this induced current will oppose the free fall of metallic bob by producing an opposite force by producing a force in the opposite direction of motion in the opposite direction of motion and why hamza this thing is not valid here in insulator can you tell me why why due to the earth magnetic field no current is generated in is or i can say no force opposite to the motion of the ball is produced can you explain Mm, because it's insulator. Yeah, because conduct. yeah, because it it is an insulator. Magnetic flux will also change with respect to the uh, glass ball, but the glass ball will not conduct the current. So yes. due to the current, there will be no opposite magnetic field, and there is no opposite magnetic force. So F is you can say the. Uh, magnetic force produced due to induced current and on the uh, i want to just discuss one more thing with you suppose if i have neg neglected the earth earth earth's magnetism suppose what then what will happen then both will fall at the same time why because uh, it doesn't matter it doesn't no, matter that... to the uh, it doesn't the weight doesn't matter whatever the weight they for both fall at the same time yeah okay just i am proving this unless unless it's a feather because then a feather has a resistance to the air and i am also neglecting the end resistance to air if you will con consider so you will take same resistance of air you will take means yeah. for both the walls the resistance of air will be same so just yeah. i am neglecting the resistance of air resistance as this pen is falling and so i am just neglecting the air resistance so i am writing neglecting air resistance and suppose i am just uh, releasing both the balls this metal ball and this glass ball from the same height h small h this time 
and we have to calculate the time of the metal wall to reach the ground time of the glass wall to reach the ground we will apply some mechanics here as you are interested i think that so that is why i am telling this you it will take only 2 or 3 minutes we will just finish it so hamza are we are dropping these balls from the same height so just see here when you drop something when you drop something suppose this is a pen and you are dropping this pen you are dropping this pen like this so when you are dropping something it means that initial velocity of the body is zero you will take because initially there is no velocity so initial velocity here also is zero because we are dropping this and this at the same time we are dropping okay so it this ball will will move like this like this like this will come down is it or not come down like this no problem is it this is this thing is fine come down like this so how we can mathematic mathematically interpret this that this time how can we calculate this time and this time can you suggest me any thing give me just mm -hmm. some idea okay uh, do you know newton's equation of motion no sir okay and i am also supposing here that magnetic field is neglected okay magnetic field due to earth due to earth is also neglected here we'll uh, count the height sir uh, yeah we will count the gravity and gravity, and the gra gravity. Also. gravity. Yes. and we know that whenever a means this time this body is freely falling this is a condition of free fall yes free fall means whenever a body is freely falling the without any force acceleration of that no no you cannot say without any force there is a force Gra gravitational force only any external ah. force i am talking ah. about there is no external force but there is a force known as the gravitational force so and and one thing more here the acceleration of freely falling body is g so acceleration here also of this body is g is it or not yes yeah g is what is g g is the acceleration due to gravity now i am just applying the newton's Second equation of motion. Newton's second equation of motion says that displacement is equal to initial velocity into time plus half into acceleration into time square. And what is the displacement here? For if we are calculating for a metal, for metallic ball, just in two seconds I am finishing it. Height is h. this is falling in this direction height is at initial velocity is zero axel what is the value of acceleration acceleration is g and this g is also in downward direction so g and this time we have to find time this time time to reach this wall from here to here is tm now we will if we will calculate tm from here we and this is the square of tm you we will get 2h divided by g means in this time the metallic ball will reach the ground in this time the metallic ball will reach the ground when we neglect the air resistance and we neglect the magnetic field, magnetic due, to, field. due to earth now see same equation i will use for uh, this glass ball so glass ball having a displacement h initial speed is zero acceleration is g and time taken tg so what is oxt o no no this is not oxt this is this is zero multiplied by t 
जीरो मल्टीप्लाइड बाई टी हेयर हेयर आई एम पुटिंग दिस यू टी ना तो यू इज जीरो दिस इज मल्टीप्लीकेशन एंड टाइम दिस विल बिकम जीरो This is not x. You can ask me. Okay, fine. This becomes zero, and this is half g into t g square. So when you will calculate this t g, you will get two h divided by g. Now see here, both times are same. Yes. See the beauty. Means if you are If you are releasing a wall of higher weight, if you are releasing a wall of higher weight, the time to reach the ground will not change. This time is only on depending upon the height from where you are releasing the wall, or excel on the acceleration due to gravity. Even not on the material of the wall. Okay, just note this down. in this way of you can relate the thing very interesting thing just note it down hamza sir sir on and i need to open zoom i'll leave and join so on the have you understood the this question this yes. question this this type of on this type of question you will get in your examination so be prepare for it and see how i have solved the question just take the screens or or it is better to know, make your own notes sir make finish hold on yeah if you will do the calculation by yourself it will help you a lot So you can show the first one, uh, the number one. Uh, okay. This no, 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 uh, not this one, sir. Down, down. That uh, the this no equation one. Uh, this one. Equation one. That's oh, two. Oh, okay, okay. Yes, this one. And this n x is the number of free electron. Number okay. of free, free electrons. electrons per unit volume. Per unit volume in x x conductor in x wire, or you can say in y x. Okay, done. So each and everything is clear now. I think. Done. Done. Okay, fine. Very good. So this was the question from two thousand ten, and this was <coughs> the <coughs> sorry. <coughs> this was a question from two thousand fourteen, and this is a good question. I will say means, and you have asked me a very good question. Means if this time difference will be very very less, that is, I appreciate you for that. so just note it down also take the screenshot or note it down this is the condition of a wall in between the ground and from where we are releasing the wall done okay just take the screenshot of this done okay fine now we will have a next topic emf internal resistance and the terminal potential emf internal resistance emf so emf is the maximum potential difference maximum 
potential difference across t terminals of cell in an open circuit now what is open circuit just see here this is the symbol of cell this is a symbol of cell and this cell have this internal resistance r e is the emf and this cell is connected with some external resistance r so what is r r is the external resistance Uh, are you getting the motion of my tip means this yes no, no sir not getting no means uh, sir this. you can like draw you can uh, circle with uh, the color that is fine man i am i am doing this you are not getting this means the tip the motion of no, the no. tip no no i am not getting the motion of the cursor motion of the cursor you are not getting means now you are getting this time yeah now i'm getting but uh, now you are not getting no so i will i will just fix this fix this in the next class because this thing is very very important if i am now what i am doing are you getting what i am doing now no sir i cannot see the cursor but on my screen this cursor is visible this cursor of my uh, text text cursor yeah text cursor i am talking about you can see the text cursor i can see the text cursor but you are not getting na no i can see the text cursor but i cannot see the normal cursor text cursor means this dot i am talking about this dot i don't know i cannot see the i cannot see the dot moving it's only fixed in one place okay 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 they will fix this no problem because i if i am telling you something then it is very much required that the cursor of my this pen should be on the screen we will fix it but is it okay now so oh, means we can manage it yes sir so, so this is the external resistance r is the external resistance and small r is the internal resistance of cell and capital e is the emf of cell suppose this terminal is a terminal this terminal is b terminal so emf is given as the difference of potential of terminal a minus the potential of b so this is the emf and 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 and, and one thing else. this will be emf when i will open this circuit emf of the circuit is defined when there is when circuit from this point we have disconnected the wire we have disconnected the wire and current in this circuit is equal to zero and the current is zero that is why this is known as open circuit so this is the maximum potential difference this time if you disconnect this wire so there will be no potential drop here so that is why 
this potential difference is the maximum potential difference so emf is the maximum potential difference or for emf you can also write one thing for emf one more thing or you can write for this is the potential difference across external resistance No, not this. Now the, you are getting the cursor of this uh, means uh, eraser. Hamza. Yes, sir. But this time you are getting the cursor of cursor of this eraser. No. Okay. Means there is a problem in one node, right? So we will fix it. Means the mouse is working, but so this is the and please remember all these things. What is capital R? What is small R? What is E? This is the EMF. Now we will discuss the internal resistance. internal resistance so basically internal resistance of cell is the resistance offered by the electrodes and the electrolytes as we know that inside a cell there is a electrolytic solution and the electrodes so when the current passes through the cell by those electrodes and the electrolytes the resistance is offered in the flow of current so that resistance is known as the internal resistance so internal resistance is resistance offered by resistance offered by the by the electrodes and the electrolytic solution in the cell in chemistry we have have you studied electrodes in chemistry electrolytic yes. solution yes yeah. yes in i think electrochemistry yes chemistry yeah electrodes and electro electrochemical cell so due to that the internal resistance and this internal resistance is represented by small r so now what is the uh, significance of internal resistance what is the significance of internal resistance so what will happen uh, suppose and this internal internal resistance is the resistance offered inside the cell okay here r here small r here e is the emf of the cell so what will happen what will happen here at this small r there will be some potential drop there will be some potential drop because energy will be lost here energy will be lost here suppose i current is flowing i current is flowing here put v you will calculate the potential difference you here is ir and here where you will calculate the potential difference here will be ir then this is loss of potential so due to the internal resistance of a cell there is a loss in the potential okay so 
you can represent the electrolyte and electrodes like this no problem and this elect these electrodes are in the electrolytic solution this is the electrolytic solution and these the electrodes are having electrodes having positive and negative charge so this is the electrode so this is the internal resistance this is all about the internal resistance of the cell now we will discuss the terminal potential difference terminal potential difference of the cell terminal potential difference so let's see what is terminal potential difference you have a cell you have this cell and this cell have the internal resistance r you have a cell and this cell has the internal resistance r please add one more thing here this internal resistance is represented like this e is the emf of the cell and r this as or represented as the internal resistance or sometimes in some books this is represented like this this cell has emf e and internal resistance is r so terminal potential difference is you have a cell you have connected this r means here is a capital r this is the here is a cell this is the cell this is the internal resistance and this is the resistance you have connected in series with this cell and this resistance is also known as the external resistance or load so you can compare this suppose you have connected a motor here so motor is a load for us and this is a cell and this cell have the internal resistance r so what will happen suppose you have connected a cell of 2 volt emf and here this is the internal resistance of the cell here some 0.2 volt suppose 0.2 volt uh, uh, potential is dropped so the overall potential here you will get 1.8 volt only so this is the loss so due to the internal resistance there is a loss in the potential so that's okay so now this is the circuit and terminal potential difference we want to calculate so i am just writing first the definition so this is the potential difference pd means potential difference between the terminals of the cell or across the terminals of cell when the circuit is closed see here the circuit is closed now earlier the circuit was open or you can say this is the potential difference across load that is here we have r is the load and this terminal potential difference is represented by v so now look at this circuit now look at this circuit this circuit suppose i current is flowing i is the total current that is flowing this is the positive terminal this is the negative terminal this bigger line is the positive terminal and current is flowing from positive terminal to the negative terminal 
सो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू कैलकुलेट द टोटल करंट यू विल राइट दिस ई एम एफ डिवाइडेड बाई द टोटल रेजिस्टेंस टोटल रेजिस्टेंस इज आर प्लस आर टोटल रेजिस्टेंस इज दिस आर प्लस दिस आर सो आर प्लस आर यू विल राइट नाउ मल्टीप्लाई दिस विद दिस दिस इज आई आर प्लस आई इन टू स्मॉल आर दिस इज ई If you you want to calculate I R, then you can write E minus I R, and this I R, what is this I R? This is I is the current and R. This is the potential difference across this load. Means the terminal potential difference. So terminal potential difference is given by E minus I R. Okay, terminal potential difference is given by this sir um, i'll be back after 5 minutes okay fine
चलो फिर हम बैक ओके अंदर नाउ सो दिस इज द इंटरनल दिस इज द टर्मिनल पोटेंशियल दिस इज द एक्सप्रेशन फॉर द टर्मिनल पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस एक्सप्रेशन फॉर द टर्मिनल पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस यू विल गेट सो जस्ट नोट इट डाउन ऑल ऑफ द थिंग्स टुक द स्क्रीनशॉट Take the screenshot of this. And after that, we will yeah. solve one. We will solve one more question. Take the this this also. Done. Or remember one thing: this is the representation of cell. Okay. Okay. Fine. Take take this also. Done. Okay. Fine. so we will discuss first four case cases and after that we will solve one very good matter so now we will calculate the terminal potential difference in different different cases we will calculate the terminal potential difference in different different cases so case 1 we will calculate the terminal potential difference in open circuit so the open circuit means you have a cell this and this is the internal resistance of the cell and you have connected this with this resistance r and open circuit means you have just disconnected the wire from here disconnected the wire from here means no connection is there do you want to see the open circuit okay see this now there is a light here means the current is flowing this time this circuit is closed okay now i am just opening it and this see the current will the light will be there now there there is no light now there is no light light has gone because the circuit is open now and circuit is open means there is no current so so that is why there is no light and again i am connecting the wire see now it's so closed this, so what so what will happen the in open circuit in open circuit we have current equal to zero and if we want to calculate the terminal potential we have formula e minus i into small r so put the value of current zero you will get e this will become zero na i into r will become zero so you will get this Because when you will put the value i equal to zero, so this term will become zero. Okay. Now case second, we will calculate the terminal potential difference. PD means potential difference when short circuit. short circuit means we have discussed we have suppose a cell and this cell have internal resistance r and emf e and this cell is connected with a resistance r and uh, um, short circuit and short circuit means 
I will connect a wire across this resistance, and all the current will follow the this path. Follow this path. Follow this path, and no current will be enter in the resistance. So you can just modify this circuit like this. Means there will be no resistance now. There will be no resistance now. So you can say resistance will become zero. So we want to calculate the terminal potential. We have E minus I into small r, and we have this V is equal to um, I r. V is equal to I r, and this is E minus I r, and this I is zero means this term is zero. This is E minus I R, so you will write from here I is equal to E divided by small R. Here this is a small R. This is a small R. So now this is the current in the, and this current is the maximum current. So in short circuit there is a current which is maximum. because the resistance is minimum this time because here when you will write the expression for current you will write e divided by r plus r but this r becomes zero so this current will become maximum the current is maximum here now another case is case third case third means when the cell is discharging when cell is discharging discharging means same is the case we have taken uh this this is the case of discharging means cell is on the working condition you will take cell is on the working condition this charging means this cell is providing some energy to this load this load can be motor this load can be bulb this load can be anything can, can be any electrical appliance this r is the internal resistance so and always remember that when the cell is charging so direction of current you when you will take the when the cell is discharging that you will take the direction of current from positive terminal to negative terminal from positive terminal to uh, this is positive terminal means this is positive terminal this is negative terminal so the direction of current will be like this and if you want to calculate the terminal potential difference then you will get e minus i into small r during charging this is the terminal potential difference now case th case uh, fourth this is case third case fourth case fourth means when you will calculate the terminal potential difference when the cell is discharging when cell is not discharging cell is charging this time charging means what you have a cell means you have a resistance here and this is connected this is a cell having the internal resistance this is a positive terminal of cell this is a negative terminal of cell but during this during charging the direction of current is from positive to negative terminal remember this thing direction of current is from negative to negative to positive terminal 
this is the resistance r this is the battery of emf e internal resistance r and when you will calculate the terminal potential difference you will get e plus i r means this time you are providing extra energy to the cell means the potential of the cell or the voltage of the cell will increase okay and this equation can be derived when we will study kirchhoff's law derived by kirchhoff so hum the just take the screenshot of all of this and after this we will have a numerical done done very good just take this done okay done done fine now now we will have a question see this question first read this question by yourself and i am giving you 5 uh, minutes just try this question by yourself and one thing i want to tell you one thing i want to tell you that you will use this formula if you want to calculate the current just use this formula current is equal to emf of the cell divided by the equivalent resistance just try to solve this question after that i will solve just try i will giving you a time of 5 minutes okay amza just solve this
so you want to do you want to leave the class you want to leave the class right now you have to go somewhere so just i am uh, can you give me 5 minutes i am just finishing this question in 5 minutes i will finish this then you can go okay fine just see with 100% concentration see this and take the screenshot also so if we have a battery they are saying a battery of emf p and an internal resistance r give a current of 0.5 ampere with external resistance of 12 ohm they are saying a cell is connected this is a battery is connected with a 12 ohm resistance 12 ohm resistance and this battery have emf e and internal resistance r and current flowing this time is 0.5 ampere this is the condition one given in the question for the condition two they are saying all things are same all things are same but something is changed here here a resistance of 25 ohm here a current is different means uh, for conditions conditions again this is 25 ohm resistance and here current is 0.25 ampere so now look at this we have to find the internal resistance of the battery means small r we have to find we have to find the capital e means emf of the <coughs> battery so this current can be written as i have told you the formula i is equal to e divided by total resistance total resistance you will take 12 plus r because in series you will add both the resistances so current is 0.5 e divided by 12 plus r from here you will get e is equal to 0.5 12 plus r this is the equation one now for this circuit you can write e divided by 25 plus r see here this is i this is i i is flowing in this circuit i is equal to e emf divided by the total resistance 25 plus r so now calculate e from here e is 0.25 this is 25 plus r this is the equation 2 now put equation 1 is equal to equation 2 so this will become 0.5 12 plus r this is equal to 0.25 into 25 plus r so now when you will cancel this out this 0.25 this will become 2 now multiply this 2 with 12 this will become 24 this will become 2 r this will become 25 plus r from here you can get r is equal to 1 ohm and when you will when you will put r is equal to 1 ohm in equation 1 or 2 you will get your answer so e is equal to 0.5 12 plus 1 this will become 0.5 into 13 you will get 6.5 volts so emf you will get 6.5 volts so this is your answer just take the screenshot and okay sir okay take the screenshot done okay uh, now 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 take this done and take this